the most asked question when it comes to control valve has been valve selection and that is asked for a reason if you see for example when you have globe valve and butterfly valve both these valves can be used to control the flow however if you notice butterfly valve is less costly it has more flow capacity and it has even less pressure drop with all these advantage also if you have noticed in any project butterfly valve is not the most used valve usually most used valve in any project becomes a globe valve but why is this so by the end of the video you will be clear with all of these concepts so without further delay let's get into it the first important thing to note is a disclaimer here for selecting a control valve you will see very less literature available the reason is because there are more than 45 plus criteria for selection and that is true for example for a valve you need to check flow capacity response time cost size failure mode slurry service powder service or what is your past ambient temperatures etc a lot of services or parameters come into play so that is why it is difficult to come with a guide which is for sure and applies for every single case however what we can do is we can develop a basic algorithm that can be acting as a thumb rule in order to help you for your valve selection guide the first thing in valve selection to note the most important criteria is whether is it going to be used in a modulating service yes or is going to be used in an on off service now this is very important why because we are having a lot of type of valves for example globe valve ball valve plug valve angle valve butterfly valve gate valve just to name a few so what we will do as first step is based on their construction certain valves inherently are more good to control certain valves inherently are better when it comes to on off applications so let us try to develop a spectrum here so once we arrange these in a spectrum so what we can say is in terms of the left side most valve example globe valve has a tendency to be more useful for control applications and if you get to gate valve generally for large sizes gate valve seem to be a better choice depending on the application we'll be dealing with modulating service in this video so once you decide that these particular valves will be beneficial for modulating service then you need to look at the size if it's small size or larger sizes now the small size means around the range of you can say 2 inches to 4 inches then you need to go for one of the the preferred valve which is going to be globe valve here if the size is larger then we need to look for more considerations but wait why did we go for globe valve here and why is size such an important criteria the reason is size of a valve has a great impact especially in terms of the cost because the material used to forge a particular valve for example globe valve is higher so if the line size increases to such an high extent then cost becomes a significant factor to be taken into consideration since the line size is less it is preferred to go with a good valve which is a globe valve that can have better flow control we are clear with modulating services yes then you have size around 2 to 6 inches we might prefer to go for a globe valve generally the reason of size here comes because of the cost factor if the size is higher then what is the next important factor to be taken into consideration this is going to be the most important factor especially in dealing with control valves this is going to be dp is the dp low or not that you ask any export of valves will tell you that it has always been very critical to know the dp what does this dp actually mean so imagine here's your valve put in a line and this is the flow direction so the pressure here will be measured sure upstream pressure is called as p1 for example and the downstream pressure will be called p2 let the upstream pressure be around 100 bar and the downstream pressure be 60 bar so this difference which is coming is 40 bar this difference is very useful and is the cause of variety of issues in a control valve for example cavity flashing choke flow just to name a few this will help you answer the question we had initially asked in the video that even if butterfly valve is so good but why does still globe valve be used because it can handle very high pressure drop and also it has very precise flow control and that is the reasons for quite a lot of places you might see globe valves to be the preferred choice for control valves compared to a butterfly valve
so we had first a modulating service yes let's imagine the size is larger then you go to dp if the dp is low then you go and see whether this precise control is required or not if precise control is not required because butterfly valves compared to globe valves can't give you that precise flow then it is better to go for butterfly valve so you will save a lot of cost now butterfly valves itself are divided especially you can say in terms of the design into concentric and eccentric design eccentric is further divided into double offset Set, triple offset we will get into those points but before that let's close the algorithms if it's a small size or if it's precise control required we will still go for a globe valve being the preferred choice butterfly valve we said has having two designs right one is the concentric design and the other one is the eccentric design let us look into what is this basic design concept so for example here i have a butterfly valve which comes in now at the center the shaft is exactly at the center then we call it as a concentric concentric design if the position of the shaft is changed if it's changed by one position two positions depending on that we call this as for example single offset double offset triple offset valve so these offsets are basically coming under the eccentric design so basically it is not at the center and thus the name comes is eccentric design the offsets basically are very important if you see here this was the first offset that we noticed here the second offset is coming here so it is trying to shift the shaft from its actual center position and the third offset is in the angle now these kind of valves are also sometimes called as high performance valves and these especially help to seal without having a soft seat and can even provide very tight shut off in a lot of applications with metal to metal seat contact as well so if you see here if it opens at 90 degree completely you will have the complete flow passing through it but if the opening goes to 60 degree opening here a conventional butterfly valves used to be unstable and if that is the case and if you want to control your flow around in this degree of operation then generally the latest technology valves such as high performance valves have to be selected which have a higher cost and also it has to be confirmed from the vendor from where you're procuring that that valve will be sufficiently able to control flow at that degree of operation let's get to our algorithm again so if you have low dp no the dp is high if the dp is high then you need to know how high is the dp so for that the first thing to notice whether cavitation noise etc are these things anticipated so if the dp is high maybe imagine 20 bars 50 bar of pressure this is the dp between the valve if it is not so much then you can still go for globe valve so it's a high dp application maybe 10 bar and you want to go for a globe valve that should be a good choice if the cavitation and flashing and these things are prone you see the dp to be too high then you need to look at the type of service is the service having entrained solid particles or not if it is not having entrained particles then you can go for special design such as anti-cavitation trim etc if it has solid particles then it's a tricky choice and you might have to go for a y pattern globe valve or an angle valve why is this choice of selecting anti-cavitation trims not available for solid services or having solid particles in it? The reason for that is if you see an anti-cavitation trim, it basically has holes. These holes help to have the flow in multiple parts or for multi-stages, but because these holes can get clogged in terms of a solid particle getting stuck there and it defeats the purpose of that particular trim hence for services which have entrained solids anti-cavitation trims might not be the correct choice for those cases maybe a y pattern design will be helpful if you see a y pattern design even the pressure drop path is not that complex compared to a globe valve so it has a comparatively simple flow path and the dp produced is also comparatively a bit less also sometimes you might have to go for an angle valve for such cases so this has to be decided based on the space considerations and it has to be discussed on exactly case to case basis along with the recommendation from the vendors we will have a quick summary of everything that we have learned so for selection first if you see we need to know whether it's a control application or an on-off applications once you are clear with this point then you need to look for whether it's going to be a small size or it's going to be large size if it's a small size then globe valve might be a preferred choice as long as pressure drop is not an issue because comparatively globe valves have a higher pressure drop if that is okay then for small sizes for control better is to go for a globe valve now if the size is large then what do you do then you look for the dp is the dp low or high if the dp is low then you might go for around you can say in the range 
range of 10 bar if it is that case or less for example 2 bar 3 bar somewhere like this the preferred choice can be a butterfly valve so you can save a lot of cost in your materials also if precise control is not required only then butterfly valve is recommended and it is preferred that you have a high performance design that can use for control application. Now, if the DP is very high, then one option is you go for a special trim design, especially like anti-cavitation trims, etc. But you need to take care that whether are there any entrained solid particles into it. If there are entrained solid particles, like then you have to go for a Y pattern design or an angle well design might be better. And especially now, if you have slurry services, here one of the design that has been preferred along a lot of industry industries has been a plug valve or diaphragm valve can also be used if the control is only for a very small range interested to learn control valves in depth then there is a free ebook available which covers amazing parameters like material selection valve sizing valve design and valve standards the link is given in the description below please subscribe if you have liked the video